Hello guys, this is Sammy from Hackerbad.net and today with a tutorial for you guys on how to use the interwebs anonymously. Today we're gonna have a look at how to use proxy servers on your favorite mainstream browsers which are basically these ones Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox and Opera. Alright, we're gonna have a look at free proxy servers um, at the start, if you want to use this uh, over longer amounts of time, you might want to consider a paid option, which I'm going to introduce to you at the end of the video. All right, let's get started. So in order to have a proxy server enabled, you're going to need some data. Now, there are a lot of free proxy lists out there. Uh, just Google it or Bing it or do whatever. Use your favorite search engine and you will find lots of these lists. Now the problem about free proxy server lists is basically, well, they are generally incredibly slow. Some of them record your data and well, they're just generally very, very low quality and you should never use them to uh, pay people on PayPal or through your bank account because uh, it's a huge risk. But if you just wanna change your IP address, free proxy servers are all right. All the data you need is the IP address, which is this kind of number right here with all the dots, and you're gonna need a port number as well. All right, let's get started with the most, um, the most popular browser, which is Chrome. So in Chrome, in order to um, connect to a proxy server, you need to go to your settings and under settings you go to your advanced settings which will then lead you to change proxy settings on the network. You click that, this will open your Windows Internet Properties and then you can click on LAN settings and enter your proxy data. Okay, Here you just enter your IP and here you enter your port. I'm not going to do this right now because well I'm using a <coughs> virtual private network at the moment so I don't really need it and then you apply this and that should work. All right, in order to um, clear your browsing history in Chrome, you go to more tools and clear browsing data. And here you can delete everything. In order to use Chrome anonymously, you can open a new incognito window. It's still better to use a virtual private network or a um, proxy server, but that's basically how it works. Let's move on to Internet Explorer. In Internet Explorer, you basically go to your internet options. And then again, as before, you go to connections, LAN settings, you enter your, um, your data for your, um, for your proxy server, and you click OK, and you apply. That's basically how it works here. LAN settings, use proxy server, OK. That's basically how you do it in Internet Explorer. Obviously, you need to type in the IP address and port in order for that to work. Uh, in order to clear your browsing data in Internet Explorer, you go to um, settings, obviously, safety, and then delete browsing history. And here you get to delete everything. That's cool as well. Um, if you want to use Internet Explorer um, anonymously or incognito. I'm not actually sure how you do that anymore. I think you go to safety and in private browsing and this will open up a incognito window that will not track you using cookies and stuff and um, record your data. All right, um, let's move on to the next one, Safari. Uh, let's start Safari up. In Safari, you basically go to either private browsing for for a incognito window. Um, now it's private, as you can see right here. Then you can delete your history under. No, actually, that's the wrong one. Um, you delete your history under Reset Safari. Under Reset Safari. I'm sorry it took that long, but I needed to remember Reset Safari. And here you get to. Um, delete all your data. Then in order to use a proxy server, I think you go to preferences and then you go to advanced and then you go to change settings. 
which will again open your Windows um, connection window and you can do LAN settings, enable proxy, enter your address, enter your port, OK, apply. That's basically how you do that in Safari. Now let's move on to Firefox. In Firefox you also got a private window which is basically your incognito mode. You got your history that you can delete clear recent history and then you got your options which will allow you to enable a um, a proxy server. Um, you go to advanced under your options and you go to network and then you go to connection. Connection settings and here you get to use your proxy manual, proxy configuration, here you enter your IP address and here you enter your port. That's basically how you do it in Firefox. Now, in Opera, it's a little bit more simple, thank God for that. All you basically do is you go to your settings, then you get your uh, privacy and security, which will allow you to clear your browsing data, and you go to browser, which will allow you to change your proxy settings again in your Windows Internet Properties tab. Where it, which is where you can enable your proxy server again, enter the IP, enter the port, okay, apply. And that's basically that. Whew. Okay, that was a lot of information that I had to memorize, pretty much. Uh, I failed in, in a few places. So that's basically how you use a free proxy server or a paid one if you have one. And well, now I want to introduce to you a more practical and long-term way of doing things. This is a VPN. I use this one because it has a prepaid plan, so you don't have to have a credit card. It is 100% anonymous, they delete all your data, it allows you to change your IP address, uh, bind your, uh, your, your virtual private network to any application on your computer. Um, this will encrypt all of your data so nobody gets to read it. It's generally pretty awesome. Uh, it does basically what a proxy server does, but it's a lot more secure and makes it a lot harder to track you and also your internet service provider doesn't get to spy on you because the connection is a tunnel and therefore the information is encrypted. So if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description of the video. And well, thanks you guys for watching. I hope I could teach you guys something and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.